that means clamping A1 and connecting A2 to AB2, which is S9, right? The one that clamps AB1, AB2, AB1, sorry, and connecting S6, correct? We can actually see this here. Okay, we said zero zero one is pattern one, pattern one, independent of the instruction. Okay, so we go to the previous one, and we see okay pattern one. Let me see. Well, S six is on as well. Eighty two connected to eighty two, and S nine on, meaning eighty one will be clamped. Okay. Now, if you do the same for if you do the same for the um, uh, ABM, we can actually see. Okay, that was the vector we selected, zero zero one, and we see with instruction probe or internal test or sample preload this will be p17 and then p1 okay with external test so this one depends on the current instruction okay <coughs> well on the to be that was independent now if we go back we see that with p17 it's connected to the car st is on right and it is monitored by st2 right so the signal will flow but at the same time it will be observed through ab2 that with that pattern will also be connected to 82 okay so change this And we go some more steps. And now we're going to shift in instruction zero 01, which is probe. So the minute or the moment this instruction becomes active on this first state, which is update IR, the thing will happen is you can see on 82 the line that's or the sign that's flowing through the analog pins okay lost my fingers so did it change okay so this gives an idea of the things you have to do in terms of programming. This is the test program. So, so far we've talked about designing the test infrastructure. Right now we're talking in a, in a different level, we're talking about how to use the test infrastructure. And this means developing test programs, which is also one of your fields within this institute, right? Doubts here. Any doubts? Let's go for controllability. Okay. If you don't put any doubts, it is too much quick. <coughs> okay. Now, what I'm doing is actually, if I stop the program, in the and if I run it again, you can see that after there is a test logic reset, we can see the very same initial condition, okay? Because when you do test logic reset, all the test logic circuitry must be inactive. So no, you can no longer watch anything on 82. So let's us make five PMS ones. And and for doing this, I'll, I'll I'll just close this program. 